21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. It looks like sprinkles on top of hot fudge sundae. We have apigard, we have formic, we have a salic acid. Uh, so now that you guys see this situation here, we've got brood and we have nectar up here. Of course, this we're reserving for them for the winter time. Hannah, you're the athame queen. What do you think we should do about treating the mites in this colony? Formic Pro. Scott? I was leaning towards that too. Yep. That's, that's a huge Chad? If you're 10% and you don't have supers on? Yeah. Yep. Well, even with supers, you could do Formic, but. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, the kitchen formic. sink. Formic? Yeah. Roy? Formic. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit uh, above and beyond that. Um, let's do Formic first. And then we're going to do something after that, too. This is not a how-to. If Mike it's Berry is watching, do. this is not a how-to. <laughs> do we put on one patty or two? Two. What's your numbers? Two. 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 Ryan? Two. Brig? Can you do one and then test it later to see how effective it was? We could. Robert? I'm going to go two. Two? I've never used formic. I abstain. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but it's really hot and I would only do one. <laughs> she actually, okay, she's that, right. actually just made it. That's a very valid point. Mm -hmm. Scott? It is in the probably low 80s right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's going to be two more days this week. Yeah. We, have, yeah. we have one day where this product is one degree above the threshold. Mm -hmm. But here's the caveat. We're in an apame hive. Mm -hmm. Insulated. That's going to help. Raise your hand if you think we ought to do one pad. One, two, three, four. Raise your hand if you think you ought to do two pads. Let's do, let's do one. We're learning. And the only brood that you have is just in the right. one area. Yeah, and that, that's right. We're, we're, we are low in brood. It's only in the one box. It's only about half of that box. I, I feel good about one, and here's the reason why. We're going to get this put back together and I'm going to show you the next thing that we're going to do just to help out just enough. This episode is brought to you by Nature's Image Farm. If you're interested in nukes, packages, queens, or supplies, visit us on the web at naturesimagefarm.com. So what do you do uh, if you want to treat anathema with an acetic acid vaporizer? Something that we've done for several years now, um, over hundreds of colonies that we use for mating that all have dials on there, um, we'll use our vaporizer, um, but we will insulate that stem with a really high piece of technology. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Order them, buy them, pour them out of a bottle of wine that you have, and then we'll drill out the wine cork itself for the diameter of a stem, and it just goes right over top. Now it's going to create an insulation as we put it inside of the colony so we don't melt the plastic but then can still um, get the treatment so as we mentioned this colony has uh, a a mite rate of 10 percent which is astronomical that is not good so we for right now we only have one strip of formic in there because our temperatures are kind of borderline we're hoping with the apame the little bit of insulation they'll stay a little bit cooler we don't have our feeder tops on so we have a little bit of extra space in the lid for ventilation one problem that i just uh foresee already is we have a little bit of a, of a um, functionality problem here because these apames are vented on the bottom so how are we going to shoot them with the salic acid or use formic and they be vented huh. <laughs> <laughs> on the back side of the apames here they have this pull out tray right that's ventilated so we need to be able to put something in there to cut the ventilation off so i thought what if we just cut a strip what do you think scott okay so we got the bottom of that plugged up with uh, some corrugated plastic and then i'm just going to go ahead and tape off these vents our vents are taped our vaporizer is hot we're going to use our acetic acid. We are set. We are metered on this one, a four gram dose. So we're going to put that in here. We've got our, we have our acetic acid. All right. We have our cork. 
I'm gonna put the cork right into the entrance. We're gonna drop our oxalic acid in, hit the plunger. We're getting, look at that. I got vapor coming out of the top box. Okay, so we're looking at our temps. Temps are running down. Now they're climbing back up. About done. What was that? Maybe 45 seconds or so at the most. <laughs> and we're able to use our hot oxalic acid vaporizer without melting the plastic. Beauty. Just by using a cork. And then what we're going to do on this is we're going to close the ventilation all the way off on this and this for 10 minutes so all of our vapor can kind of go through the colony. So on this one, 10% is kind of high. What do we do? Um, you, you don't really hear a lot of mixing products together. In this case, um, we have one pad of formic uh, dosed on this colony and then we also hit them with, with, a, with a four gram shot of oxalic acid just to help knock down all those phreatic mites. Was that a good call? Was that a bad call? Let us know in the comments below and then stay tuned for an update video to see if the combination of one dose of formic um, that are stepped, we'll put two of those on over time with the oxalic acid here in the beginning. Is that gonna, is that gonna help this colony? Is it gonna hurt it? Let us know what you think in the comments below and then stay tuned for the update video to see what it actually did. All right, hey, thanks for uh, Scott for holding the camera and we've got Susie holding the camera on some and we've got Brian holding the camera. And Hannah was in the video. Look, hey, thanks. Thanks everybody for helping us here with the learning yard on the things we're trying to do, Brian. Hey, the, the fun thing about the learning yard is we're able to try stuff out. We can think about it, we can talk about it. We can put it to a vote. We can put it, uh, plan together, put it in place, see what it looks like and follow up later to see what outcomes that we actually had for that. That is a, that, that's a big deal because we can learn here in the, in the learning yard um, rather than folks worrying about hurting or killing their bees in their yard, we can do that and experiment here and see what happens. And that's kind of a big deal. So thanks for hanging in there with us. Uh, thanks for watching as we kind of go through these different treatment uh, uh, processes for all these different configurations to see what works, what doesn't work. It's fun when you're doing it together. We're always learning something from each other. And that's the cool part. Scott, as always, remember to be the lighthouse. Be the change you want to see in this world. We'll see you next time. Right, Brian? See y'all.